just now I'm filming. Hi, my name is Margaret Zerman, and today I will give you a tutorial on how to prep your stuff for autoclaving. First of all, uh, for autoclaving, you will need some autoclave tape. Now, this is specialized tape that, when it's not, that indicates that something has been autoclaved. Right now, there's no black stripes, but once something's been autoclaved, a black stripe will appear on the tape that indicates that your material and your item has been successfully autoclaved. The next item you'll need is some water and these small little strips of aluminum foil. Now, what I have here is a variety of items that you'll probably be asked to autoclave working in this lab. And I also have some items that should not ever, ever be autoclaved. One includes a Ziploc Tupperware container and these two liter plastic flasks. Now, the reason you don't autoclave these is that if these were to be put in the autoclave, they would melt. Now, one of the first items is the uh, one liter plastic flask. Now, these are a very thick type of plastic and therefore they're capable of being autoclaved. Here I have a small amount of liquid in here. And in order to autoclave these, we just simply put the cap on, give it a slight twist to the point that the bottom's not gonna fall off. You don't wanna tight it really, really tight or also create a vacuum seal in the bottle and you won't be able to get your top off at the end of autoclaving. Now for these, the next step is to take a small piece of the autoclave tape, fold up the corner, and then put it on the top of the container. Now you fold the corner to make it nice and easy to remove the tape once you want to clean the bottle and you're finished with your material. The next type of bottle that you'll be asked to autoclave are these 100 ml glass bottles. Sometimes you'll have a liquid in here and sometimes you may just have to autoclave the bottle itself without amount of liquid. Now to autoclave without the liquid, what you'll need to do is put a small amount of water in the bottle. Now you want to use about less than one mil because if you don't, it will create this big part of condensation in the bottle and that's really, really bad. So for these bottles, the empty bottle, after the small amount of water is placed in, simply put the cap on, give a small twist, and once it's slightly secure fastened, you can put the aluminum foil on the top. Now the aluminum foil should be about three quarters down the glass, and you don't want it too short because usually these bottles are used for cell poultry. Now, if the aluminum foil is too short, these metal pieces can get cut up into the cap and it contaminate the inside of the bottle, and obviously you don't want to do that for cell culturing. And once again, uh, always use the autoclave tape to put on the top, to, you know, to tell everybody that A, it has been autoclaved, and B, the contents inside the bottle have been sterilized. The third type of equipment that you may have to autoclave are large Erlenmeyer flasks full of liquids. Now these require special attention because the mouthpiece is so big and they don't have a screw cap. So in order to compensate for this, we put a small piece of cotton inside the neck, aluminum foil on top, nice and secure, and a strip of autoclave tape on the top. Now the reason you put the cotton on with the tin foil is to make sure that you can protect the inside uh, contents as much as possible from outside contaminants. The fourth type of equipment that you may be asked to autoclave are simple pipettes, tips. After you put them in here, you may need to sterilize them if they aren't already from the factory in a prepacked seal. For these, you'll need two strips of autoclave tape, one on the front and one on the back. This is to create a nice seal that you aren't able to take the lid off without the tape. Once the seal has been broken and the tape is once black, you know that the tips are no longer freshly autoclave and they have been unsterilized. This is really, really good if you're doing cell culturing. You may uh, need uh, completely sterilized tips and the best way to know that they're sterilized is with the no tape seal being broken. So that completes our tutorial on how to prep for autoclaving. I'm Marvin Zimmerman. Thank you. That's nice.